We're taking simulation training for healthcare professionals to the next level. Simulation-based learning is very much like an adjunct to clinical-based teaching. So I would never say that doctors need to get off the wards and stop seeing patients and stop speaking to patients. So I say that students still need to get on the wards and do that, whereas this can act as complementary to doing that. You'll take your device and uh, press it against your torso. It will take the reading of that area using sound waves um, and it'll flash into the next point. You'll take a reading of that and the next point, take a reading of that until you've covered all areas um, that need to be checked over. Once that's all done, you'll receive a report of your breast health information for that month, which will then be compared to previous months as well to highlight any changes that have been developing um, within your breast tissue. It's been shown that robotic devices um, alongside physiotherapy have helped in terms of individuals with stroke and their walking. So both of them combined together it has a greater effect than just physiotherapy. We were trying to see if a robotic device but used at home with physiotherapy would have a greater effect than robotics used within hospitals and clinics. Adolescents with ADHD are some of the highest risk drivers we have on the roadways today. And up to this point, we really don't have interventions that have been shown to decrease their driving risk. This is the first intervention that's been, that we're able to put out there that really does reduce driving risk. It not only reduces the long lookaways from the roadway, which we know increase their risk, but it actually increases, decreases crash and near crash risk amongst these teens. And so, we really, um, the take home message is, is, hey, this is an intervention that we hope that, um, that teens will use to, to, to make themselves better drivers. 